What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this video is the 2017 Atlantic Hurricane Season Animation Version 2. Now I already watched the uh, 2017 Atlantic Hurricane Season, but uh, I was told to watch this one because there's narrations and all that, you know. <laughs> uh, but I'll also um, watch other suggestions too. Uh, but yeah. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a like, subscribe, go over to Force 13's channel, like their video, subscribe to their channel, yeah, let's get into this. After several inactive years of tropical impacts in the Atlantic Basin, Hurricane Matthew in October 2016 reminded the Atlantic Basin, particularly the North American continent, that these storms were still lurking around and could strike at any time. With the first part of the year being tremendously quiet around the world, how would 2017 fare in the Atlantic then? Would it continue to be fairly active as it had been in the last year or so, or would it slip back into the quieter pattern that was seen in 2013 and 2014? Let's go! They got... I will say this. Force 13, y'all are doing your thing. You've gotten extremely better. Animations, narration, jeez. Keep it up. Welcome to another episode of Mother Nature Redefines the Laws of Atmospheric Science with Tropical Storm Arlene, which has formed in the Atlantic on this April 20th. Arlene. Is that live stream? Is that live streams that they do? down just a little is it is it sad that I don't don't remember what actually what Hurricanes didn't happen, or did happen. <laughs> I did watch the 2017, but I just don't remember watching it, if that makes sense. I literally had to go back and look to see if I did it. Here comes the worst storm, her worst hurricane. Her 
Hurricane Harvey was the worst one, right? In 2017? Yeah. I've been shot in a full day, which is watching this thing blow up very, very rapidly and drop pretty much 20 millibars in six hours. Yeah, this is honestly a very scary situation. Oh my god. I can't, I can't, I can't keep moving my camera all over the place though. Um, but the port, Texas, is just showing. Um, especially for anybody that has decided to stay off the slide. Hurricane Harvey was the eighth named storm of the 2017 hurricane season and was the first storm to make a major hurricane landfall in the United States since 2005, ending the longest such gap in United States history. Harvey is also tied for the fourth. I did, I did say, um, now I'm remembering the. the the video that, I, the reaction video that I did, I do remember saying like, Harvey happened literally a week after I, I left Texas, dude, because I was there for a week, um, and then Hurricane Harvey happened like a week later. I literally missed it by a week. Strongest hurricane landfall along the coast of Texas. And I was, I was, uh, I was in Houston at that time. But I, I do have to say, Texas is a big ass state. Because I, I went to Houston and then, uh, then went to San Antonio. But the drive was like really long. I'm not even going. Out. <laughs> oh, I wanted to make a joke, but I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going to. Okay, Hurricane Irma. To be honest, I, uh, this is the most starkest warning or state that I've ever heard coming out of the NHC. And this is what Irma happened in the Caribbean, the right? Category 5 Hurricane Irma heading toward the Leeward Islands. Our operation should be oh, also in Florida. Eastern most Leeward Islands. And if you haven't done that, well, you're running out of time and you need to do it now. Still waiting on mine. Well, you're running out of time <laughs> and you need to do it now. I'm just playing. I forgot how bad Irma was. Hurricane Irma was the ninth named storm of the 27th. I'm talking like I was actually there. Seventeen hurricane season, and was the strongest storm to strike any of the Leeward Islands since at least 1780, and the most intense storm recorded on the list. That was the worst storm to hit since 1780. marginally eclipsing a hurricane in 1825. Jose. Even in inland, it it caused damage. This is a rapidly intensifying hurricane which could approach category 5 intensity as it passes through the Lesser Antilles and then onto Puerto Rico and the Hispaniola. Okay, I, I remember saying, I think I said, I think I said it, but uh, I said I feel bad for the Caribbean islands because they get hit twice with two category 5s.
I think a, one more bad storm happens. If I'm... If I remember right. Yeah. Wow. Hurricane Harvey joins only Katrina in causing over a hundred billion dollars in damages. Irma and Maria caused enormous devastation across the Caribbean and beyond. I was, I was saying like. Caribbean got hit twice by two Category 5s in 2017. So with 18 storms, it wasn't a quiet season, but not just that, the amount of devastation and damages that occurred in the Caribbean, out towards the Western Atlantic, were in the- After this video, I'm going to look up this year, um, hurricanes. Enormous, ...and would still be remembered many years later, even after the busy seasons of 2020 and 21. Wow. Okay. Well... I actually like this... I, I, I like this video, man. Um, the narrations... The uh, animations that they have... And they get more... In-depth... With how damaging the storm was and, you know... Um, how much money actually, how much money it cost, and how tragic and you know, devastating the these storms can be. Like they actually showed footage this time. Um, that's the other thing I'm, I I want to uh, do as well is watch like actual footage of these hurricanes. Um, but yeah. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a like, subscribe, uh, go over to Force 13's channel, like the video, subscribe to their channel, and yeah, I'm out. Peace.